Hi there, my name is Tony and today we're gonna make this. This is an extremely easy build and if you wanna have something that looks very stylish and protects your laptop at the same time, go grab the patterns using the link in the description down below. And don't worry, the patterns will come in different sizes to fit most laptops because, you know, we can't all afford Apple MacBooks, but you know what? Make a lot of these, sell them to people who can afford MacBooks, and then buy your own. Is that easy? How come nobody thought of this before? But I digress. Just check the pictures in the listing and see if your laptop fits any of the included sizes. Now let's quickly have a look at the actual pattern. At the beginning of each size there is an assembly diagram. Also note, every page has the size written in one of the corners. Don't print all the pages, print just the ones that have the size you need. I'm making a 13 inch MacBook sleeve so I will print the pages from 25 to 35. I strongly recommend you check if your laptop will fit the size you've chosen and here is how to do just that. Use these pages which if printed correctly will have the actual size written on them. Then place your laptop on top of the paper. If it fits you got the right size. Now let's get back to this and the materials we need. This sleeve will take about 2.5 square feet of material and we recommend 5 to 6 ounces of leather. That's leather between 2 and 2.4 millimeters thick for my uh, European viewers. You're also gonna need a sun brown button like this one and of course the patterns, yes. You can try and figure out the pattern yourself, but why? Why would you do that? You really wanna spend hours trying to come up with your own? You got that much time? I thought you wanted to get started right away. So be smart, get the pattern and save yourself a lot of wasted time. You got the pattern, great. Now you need to print it, punch the stitching holes and then cut the leather. I even made a step-by-step -step video showing you everything in great detail. Next.
Well done. Now you've got everything you need to finish this. So let's start with the front pocket. We will attach the closing strap just like this. We will be using saddle stitching for this part and every other thing that will need to be attached during this video. But now pay close attention because I will show you a new stitching technique I invented called the wave stitch. Here is how it's done. Place the pieces of leather you want to stitch on top of each other, just like this. Get the thread, get the needles, get the scissors closed and um, then wave your hands like this and voila, the stitching is done. What, you missed that? Well, you know what? Maybe saddle stitching, um, it's better suited for your set of skills. Leave magic to me. Next, attach the flap to the back piece. I will be using these little helpers I got off Amazon to hold my leather while I stitch it in place. Once you're done, it's time to attach the front to the back alongside this edge here. So go ahead and do that now.
Once you've finished this last stitch, grab your laptop and stick it in there. Then, with a closed flap, mark where the closing button will go. Punch the hole and screw it in. Looks like you're ready. Very well done. I'm very proud of you. However, if you are like me and you want nice edges, go grab some sandpaper or a Dremel and even out those edges like I'm going to do next. Then use a burnisher or edge paint to make them all nice and shiny. Also to prevent moisture from getting in. Yeah, that's also why you do it. Moisture, degradation. So yeah, now that you know, you got to do it. But then when you are done, you got this. Look at it. Beautiful. We'll even have two different designs included with the pattern. One with the flap like that and one with the flap at the top here. You know, because design, who cares? Why not? Anyway, you liked it. If you like this video, of course you did. So go hit the like button. That's how I know you're not lying. You didn't like it. Well, that's too bad. I just disabled the dislike button for you. Peace.